born were you born? It's a form of harmony. Well, that's uh, Lizan Owino from uh, the National Tong Ilmodo team, and of course Tong Ilmodo is a way of a uh, unified martial arts uh, which centers upon circular motion as uh, the subject and linear movement as the object. And of course, to talk about and understand this particular sport is members uh, from the Nairobi Central Tong Ilmodo Club. And I'll begin the introduction from my immediate right, that's uh, Coach uh, Willis Ogalo, the head coach for this particular club, and of course an upcoming star in this particular game as well. That's a Samba Nona, who is an under nine player, and of course that was Lizanne who did a beautiful demonstration here for us, and also she is a three-time Mombasa Open winner, and of course assistant coach Mbadi Wallace. Karibuni sana wai to five four on the touchline. Sana. Uh -huh. Now, coach, you know, uh, in the introduction, I, I was talking about how. Um, it, uh, Tong Ilmodo is a martial, you know, a unified martial arts and, you know, takes or rather centers upon circular motion as the subject and linear movement as the object. What does this mean? Okay, as you have said, Tong Ilmodo is a unified martial art, so it's a combination of all the techniques. Apart from that, we also work on the theory part of it. Mm -hmm. So we do much on the theory apart from being the practical, the punches and kicks. Mm -hmm. So we have the internal part of it. That's what we mean the Lina. So we work much on the internal part of it. We do a lot of theory work. Mm -hmm. Like myself, now I do <coughs> my training, 75 should be mm -hmm. the internal part of it. Mm -hmm. I read more, I learn more. Mm -hmm. That's the reading now. Mm -hmm. So whereas other arts, they really do work on that. Mm -hmm. They are much of the practical part of it. Uh -huh. yes. yes. Samba, how, how did you, how easy was it for you to pick on this particular, you know, game or unified martial arts, Tongil Modo? How, how did you pick it? Um, at first, my dad introduced me to this martial arts where he told me where I could defend myself even in life where I get in trouble. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how do you like it so far? It's going very good for me mm -hmm. and um, it's helping me with my personal life. Mm -hmm. Yes, and of course your personal life involves interaction with the rest. How has it helped you? Um, it has helped me with my discipline, cleanliness and it has also helped me improve well in school. Mm -hmm. yes. Elizan, three-time champion, how has been your journey in Katong Ilmodo? Um, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not easy, but dedication, uh -huh. perseverance, uh -huh. and so much. Uh -huh. yeah. I mean, and, and if you were uh, maybe to look at your journey, would you say that um, you've won the trophies that you wanted, you desired to win? Um, I think I, I needed more than what I have now. But due to some, you have some issues, you have some, some things to take care of. So that time, uh, what, what you want to do, like your personal life and the sport thing, so they collide, and that's why I've not reached where I wanted to be. Uh -huh. Yeah. I mean, uh, it means that you have to postpone your goals? At times. Uh -huh. yeah. how, how hard is it for you to reach a decision, to put on hold your dreams and pursue something else? Okay, the fact that I'm a parent, uh -huh. yeah, so that one brings some, you have to leave the sport part back to being a parent. Uh -huh. So by the time you, you come back again into sports, you've been down. So you have to take your time 
to grow up for him. Uh -huh. yeah. And it takes, it takes mental strength as well. So, so much. So much of it. Uh, coach, I mean, uh, you've been, you trained uh, Coach Willis, right? Yes. Labda kufikia sasa uneza sema kwamba Kenya has the, the, the right um, coaches to pop help the game grow? Uh, definitely, uh, we are actually headed in that right direction. Uh -huh. Yes. Na kufikia sasa labda wewe uh, ile coaching yako labda ulianzia wapi? Na mbono uka chukua tongi ilmodo kama mchizo mbao unataka ku, uh, kufundisha au na kucheza? Actually, I didn't know much. Mm -hmm. I thought uh, martial arts is martial arts mm -hmm. until I met my coach. And that is when he explained to me that uh, in this particular art, mm -hmm. unified martial arts, we combine kicks, punches, throws, and all that. Eh? Uh, but uh, the journey so far have been exciting, uh, especially when you have a mentor who have taught world beaters. So definitely want to be training under such a coach. Uh -huh. Yes. And uh, coach, of course, you, you began in other martial arts, you know, Kabla Tongi. Uh, yes, I've uh -huh. done other arts. I've done Taekwondo, I've uh -huh. done Shotsokan, I've uh -huh. done Guiju, uh -huh. I've done uh, Okinawa, uh -huh. Akido. Uh -huh. So I've done so many uh -huh. before well, I, I joined the... Initially, it was called Wanwado. Uh -huh. Then they changed the name to Tongi Modo. Uh -huh. Yes. So uh, advantage um, to combine all this you having your background advantage and gani kwa tongil modo kufikia sasa it has a very big advantage because when you work on let's say you are you are a taekwondo guy you work on on the lower part so you can only kick mm -hmm. you can't punch mm -hmm. when you are a short kind of karate mm -hmm. you watch mark on punches mm -hmm. kicks you do but little mm -hmm. but unified you have to be perfect in both mm -hmm. and then you add on the ground fight mm -hmm the judo techniques we talk, we take down, mm -hmm. and also we learn some self-defense. We are equipped in self-defense. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. disarming somebody with a gun, with a knife, is not a problem to us. So in other arts, there are little work on those. Mm -hmm. But unified, you have to be mm -hmm. fully equipped mm -hmm. to disarm somebody. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, and, and when you mentioned that it's, it's a sport that helps one to, you know, among others, disarm a gun, I saw your faces up. Everybody who's ever disarmed up anyone with a gun? Mm -hmm. Anybody who has disarmed anyone with a gun in a tricky situation? You I, I've done it me myself. <laughs> 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 Maybe to them they have not done <laughs> it, but me personally have done it. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. So I've done it. In a situation that was? Yes, I was attacked at yeah. uh -huh. a gunpoint. Uh -huh. yes. uh -huh. So in self-defense also we have it, we call it a, a psychological war. Mm -hmm. You don't react immediately. Mm -hmm. So when you are attacked, first surrender. Mm -hmm. Just raise up your hands. Mm -hmm. The guy also will turn down his pressure. Mm -hmm. Then you take off. So don't react immediately. Yeah. Once somebody points a gun on you, or any weapon, you don't react immediately. So I've done it, uh -huh. not even once, not uh -huh. even twice, uh -huh. severally. Severally. Yes. And when, during the Mombasa Open, and, and I think uh, I saw you there too, and we, we interacted briefly uh, mm -hmm. in December. Mm -hmm. uh, there was uh, a particular session where I think uh, uh, an, an old lady mm -hmm. was demonstrating this particular um, sport, you know. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's deep from like philosophies and chesos instilled on players, right? Yeah. Like it's a way of life. How, how, how do you do that back here to, to the players that have gone through your hands? Um, you know, with the compared with that lady, she's, mm -hmm. she's around 75, mm -hmm. I think so, mm -hmm. 75 years old. Mm -hmm. And uh, with the Asian people, mm -hmm. is uh, they don't have challenge the our students are facing. Mm -hmm. You have just had a list talking of, you have to yeah, balance, balance it, yes. family mm -hmm. issue and then sports issue. Mm -hmm. With the Asians, mm -hmm. they start at that early age, like three years old, mm -hmm. and it's a way of life. Mm -hmm. Here you can start it in between, mm -hmm. you have a family issue, you have to maybe rest for some period. Mm -hmm. So yes, it's not practical, we Africans, mm -hmm. to do what she did last time. Mm -hmm. That one is internally. Mm -hmm. We are trying, mm -hmm. but uh, according to the situation here in Africa, it's not easy. Yes, mm -hmm. but we are trying. Mm -hmm. At least there is a level you can see when somebody is doing something, is inside, the internal part mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. We just do the physical part, the outer part of it. Mm -hmm. Yes, but we are trying, but the challenges we are facing in life mm -hmm. cannot allow us to do what she did. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
Samba, are you ready for to take on the challenges? Yes. And wha I mean, what what do they what do you want to achieve with with the sport? In martial arts, I want to achieve my forms, sparring, my fear of sparring, and I also want to make it big, and I'm able to defend myself even when I'm attacked on the streets. Mm -hmm. And, and now talk about support that you've received. I know you mentioned in the introduction how you know you got introduced to the sport, but how has it been? How has the, their support been crucial and important? Um, my mom also supported me during the start, and she's still supporting me. She encourages me to train few times a week, and she's really supportive in every activity I do or I choose. Yeah, and, and I see you with the medal. Is that your proudest moment? Yes. Uh -huh. When was it? It was, um, it was in 2022, the Mombasa 10th edition international 2022. The 10th edition Mombasa International Martial Arts Tournament. Uh -huh. You remember the fight? Yes. Uh -huh. You remember the opponent? Yes. Uh -huh. um, though I didn't spar much, I did forms and I did forms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, Lizanne, now you know where, what sports like um, coming up for you. You know you've won three, three, three titles at Mombasa Open. Of course, you formed the national team. Where else? Uh, apart from martial arts. Mm -hmm. Or oh, just in Tong Ilmodo, we can as well talk about. You play kabaddi too, but just in Tong Ilmodo. Yes, what, what, what lies ahead now? Um, the fact that I'm a parent, mm -hmm. what I want most is for my kids to be, to follow up this, because mm -hmm. I can say it's a family thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. my mom was in sports, mm -hmm. my brother, mm -hmm. then I. Mm -hmm. So we just want to maintain it, but I want them mm -hmm. to be higher mm -hmm. than where I am. Mm -hmm. yeah. you, you, maybe they played for, they went to the top level? The kids? Uh, the, your, 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 your father, your mother? Uh, they went to the top level? Not really, but my brother went. Uh -huh. yeah. Played for which sport? This martial arts. Uh, this martial arts. Yeah. And so your dream is to have, have, have your kids follow that particular path? To a higher. To a higher level. Yeah. I mean, and for you? For me, mm, I just want to be, to, for now, like I'm starting to train to be an instructor, uh -huh. so that's where I want to be to encourage more ladies. Uh -huh. I just want to have a ladies club. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, is it something close to your heart? Why, why, why ladies club? Um, I'm a lady personally, so uh, I know the challenges that we go through on the street, especially with men who want to like. We want to force issues, so we want to. I want. I want the ladies to defend <laughs> from that. <laughs> that situation. Uh -huh. Yeah. Was it make a ramp and Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, Badi Labda, I know you also have a club. You know, you you train, um, uh, ma, ma, you know, future stars in in Kabete. Labda neza zungumzia juu that particular project that you're doing. Uh, yeah, I have some private students mm -hmm. and uh, like please here, mm -hmm. actually I be focusing on uh, ladies because I have a little girl. Eh? Mm -hmm. I would want her to grow strong mm -hmm. and uh, a lady would, would be able to defend herself, mm -hmm. uh, to build up that confidence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And coach, uh, how <coughs> do people earn points in this particular uh, game and I've watched a couple of matches, you know, I, I see that uh, above the belt, it's, mm -hmm. it's no point. How, mm -hmm. what are the technicalities, basics of earning points and, and winning this particular game? Okay, as we said, we are doing unified martial arts, so we are not allowed to hit below the belt. Mm -hmm. So below the waist, you're not supposed to hit. The only part we are allowed to hit is the thigh. Mm -hmm. So thigh, we count it as one point. You're also no, not supposed to punch on the face. Mm -hmm. You can punch just to level stomach. And then also you have thumb grabs. Mm -hmm. So you can grab somebody, take him down, and lock. So if you lock somebody, he taps, that's three points. That's knockout. 
if you score more than eight points, mm -hmm. nil, eight against nil, that's also a knockout. So we combine the technique. Kicks are on the face, that's three points. Mm -hmm. Any punch, any part of the body, except to blow the body, blow the belt, it's one point. Mm -hmm. So that's how we uh, count our points. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. El Man, I mean, looking at um, uh, the international uh, federation, Tong mm -hmm. Ilmodo, right, mm -hmm. and how it's up, Kenya is one of the uh, countries that have really, the sport is, is doing well, it's popular, especially in the continent in Africa. Mm -hmm. How has the international body helped in, in, in maybe bring up more, helping countries like those who, you know, uh, do well in this particular game? Uh, like Kenya, particularly Kenya, they have supported us in equipment. Mm -hmm. And also when you have an international tournament like we ha what we had last year, mm -hmm. we have two weeks come. Mm -hmm. We have the international grandmasters, they come mm -hmm. here. So we have that exposure. Mm -hmm. We give them time, mm -hmm. we train with them together, mm -hmm. we learn techniques. Apart from the equipment they bring for us, mm -hmm. also we learn the technique within those two weeks. And also we have uh, uh, instructor seminars, mm -hmm. which is uh, usually we do it in Philippines. Mm -hmm. Uh, once per year, so that one also get. That's what we gain from the international office. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, and as far as Nairobi Central Tongil mode is concerned, what are some of the? I know there is a tournament that's ongoing right now. Yes. Uh, yeah, in Nairobi, and yes. that's uh, the best of the best, right? Yes. But as Nairobi Central, what what what's uh, next? After this, we have an international tournament. Mm -hmm. So the uh, best of the best is selection. Is the selection of Nairobi team, mm -hmm. and most likely national team. Mm -hmm. So the tournament we're having today, right now, is going on. Mm -hmm. In fact, I was there, mm -hmm. and so I'm going back there. Mm -hmm. So we are going to select Nairobi team, mm -hmm. and most likely it will be the national team. Mm -hmm. So we'll have the inter-county tournament. In end of April, we have a tournament mm -hmm. in Philippines. Mm -hmm. So we are expecting the part of the Nairobi team mm -hmm. will join, will form the national team. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's our selection. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. And uh, Samba, as, as, as you aspire and you know do everything possible to become a, a, an, a good player you know in the sport apart from I had you talking about the fear of sparring apart from that what else do you want to work on I also want to work on forms my stances and basics also I also need to work on theory which there will be a strong readings where you move to the next level and forms also my punches and the rotation of the shoulders where you can where it comes to the blocks kicks and uh, punches yes Mm -hmm. And what do you want to achieve? Maybe wear the national. I know you're wearing Kenya already, but what, 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 what's your, what's in your dream? What's in your imagination? Um, I want to make it big, maybe to the biggest international martial arts tournament. Yes. Mm -hmm. I also want to get a medal, two or three from there. Mm -hmm. And maybe return to Mombasa this year and defend your title. Last year you missed it. Why? Um, I wasn't feeling well before the D-Day, and yes, that's where I missed my opportunity. Mm -hmm. But this year, everything works, you'll be going to retain it, so you have moved up, great up. Yes. Okay, that's uh, Lisa. For, for you, and ca I know you also turn out for Kabadi, and now Tongil Modo is like, you know, the, the main thing. Right. Yeah, so when, when is that particular club coming up? And how many girls do you think you'll, you, you, you'll be training? I think in the next five years, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So you'll be having a club. In, meanwhile, uh, for Tony Ilmodo, you want to become an instructor and maybe pass over the knowledge as well. Yeah. OK. And Badi, unafikiria kwamba labda the efforts that have been made to have more people trained to become coaches near enough uh, from the federation or the authorities? Well, I believe so, but uh, you know, they, they, there are always challenges, mm -hmm. especially like Riz said, eh? mm -hmm. uh, when uh, maybe you are a parent and you are needed to train somewhere, mm -hmm. and uh, maybe you are a student, you, you have to look for that balance. Mm -hmm. But uh, when uh, maybe at a regional level, when we have such, uh, like the tournament which is going on, eh? mm -hmm. uh, the, the senior students are always encouraged mm -hmm. to be looking forward to that coaching level. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, indeed. So, so definitely we are moving towards that right direction. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Uh, Coach Labda, 
in the country due uh, working with schools and, and clubs? How has it been in, in efforts to have this spot to reach more people? How has Nairobi uh, Central approached it? Yes. Yes, we have uh, schools. Mm -hmm. Like last Saturday, I had a grading mm -hmm. of uh, roughly 100 kids mm -hmm. from one school. Mm -hmm. That's Thomas Buck mm -hmm. in Boruboru. Mm -hmm. So as they have said, two of them, mm -hmm. we are at least uplifting them. Mm -hmm. They can't be students mm -hmm. for the rest of their life. Mm -hmm. So they want them also, we train them to be coaches mm -hmm. for the next coaches. Yes, so indeed. when I have a school, I go with maybe one of them. We train together, mm -hmm. I give him chance, or I give him, I give a chance, I give him chance, mm -hmm. so that he can train at least that more student. Mm -hmm. That's how we train them, at least to be our next mm -hmm. coaches. We want to sit down now, mm -hmm. we want to relax. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, and as we wind up, Samba, maybe you have a special um, message to the young ones who are aspiring to become young champions just like you? Um, I've learned that even if you don't get something that you wanted to get, it will take you even five years to learn what you need to learn. Because for me, it's taking, I still not, I still not learned what I wanted to learn. Mm -hmm. And all the best. Thank you so much, Nizan, uh, Badi, uh, Samba, as well as Coach Willis, right? And we wish you all the best from uh, Nairobi Central Tong Il Modo. And remember that best of the best tournament is also ongoing. And as the coach has said, it's being used to select a team that will be doing duty for the nation in forthcoming international tournaments. Up next, of course, on Touchline, we'll be speaking to Moses Kalima. That's uh, the former Kibra United footballer. Don't go too far. This is the Touchline.